Hey what's up, this is Amai Mask here. Generally, I'm not exactly the world's biggest fan of Off-White, their stuff often has too much branding for my taste, and I think it's become associated a lot with hype beast culture, flexing, all that kind of thing, which is not really quite my style. But recently, they released something that I thought was pretty interesting, and it's not what you might expect, it's a keyring. It looks rugged, it has a highly technical aesthetic, which of course is going to appeal to someone like me, and in typical off-white fashion, it comes in at the very cool price of £165. What? What the fuck? So, I happen to have one right here, and you can see, it does certainly look pretty cool. It's got that one-handed operation, so you can easily clip it onto something and then snap it closed with only one hand. Except this isn't a £165 off-white keychain, mercifully for my wallet, because this one doesn't have off-white printed on the back. No, this is the exact same climbing clip that off-white have used. It's called a frog clip, made by a brand called Kong, and it's gonna function in exactly the same way. Once you've clipped something onto this bottom section here, you can then use the top to clip or unclip it to whatever you want, whether that be a bag or a belt or something else. So although I'm very pleased with myself that I didn't pay 165 pounds for a keyring, and it certainly does look very cool and it's pretty fun to use as well, what with this little one-handed clip and unclip operation, it's not exactly the best keychain in the world that I hoped it would be. Not only is this massively overkill to actually use as a keychain, this is genuinely a climbing clip, it's rated for very heavy duty use so putting this on your keys is yeah maybe a little bit too much and also you can tell just by me holding it here this is way bigger than i thought it would be this is probably like double the size i thought it was going to be so as a result it's a little bit unwieldy if i was going to have this attached to my keys all the time this really would weigh me down like this is bigger than my car key for example so it's going to add to the weight substantially which probably isn't something that you want and it's better suited i think to attaching to your keys only if you know that you're going to use that clip functionality and actually attach it to something if you're just going to have it dangling around all the time you're probably not going to want this but it got me thinking if not this cool looking frog clip what sort of cool uh, key based tech accessories can we get that are gonna have some decent functionality and actually be useful and like our good friend the frog clip here are not going to break the bank so i went looking for a couple of different options ways of securing your keys in an interesting way or just other key based accessories the first thing i thought of course was a carabiner something very very similar to this a climbing clip of sorts but it's going to suffer exactly the same issues in that they are generally pretty big and pretty unwieldy and they're maybe not even as easy to use as these because you have to like unscrew the little carabiner clip before unclipping your keys so yeah there's better stuff than that out there i think even though people do use carabiners a lot and in techwear pictures where people are carrying keys often it's a carabiner that they go for. And yes, anything designed for climbing or survival tool is going to be overkill, but it's really about doing the thing that you're buying them for and the thing that they're supposed to do. So if it does that, then I don't really see the big deal personally. The first thing that caught my eye is a little key attaching device is this one here from Maharishi coming in at £10. I think this is actually quite cheap for a, a streetwear branded accessory like this and it has a very functional and cool look I think. It's also much smaller than something like this so far less unwieldy and clearly designed specifically for keys. The functionality of course is very obvious here. You clip one end to your keys and one end to the thing that you want to stick your keys on. Although the shape of it much smaller, much less unwieldy than the carabiner and the frog clip, still has that kind of rigidity about it. It might not be something that you want attached to your keys 24 seven, and instead something that you're gonna attach to your bag or your belt or whatever, and then click your keys on when you want it. But nonetheless, it means that you keep your keys out of your pocket, which is definitely a good thing because I've had enough of my keys digging into me, or if you're mad enough to put it in the same pocket as something else, then scratching your phone or whatever it is that you're storing with them. So that's a bit of a basic solution that is gonna get the job done, but nonetheless, I think we can be a little bit more elegant than that and get some cool magnets involved. As you guys might know, I'm a fan of the Fidlock belt buckle, 
Um, they're super easy to use, they're cool as well with the magnetic functionality, and that kind of thing can be applied to keys as well. There's this little set from Dispatch, for example. This $35 keychain set comes with one end that you attach to your device, your bag or your belt, whatever, and the other half that you attach to your keys, and then you can connect and disconnect those two halves very, very easily. And it has the same look as their belts as well, so I think from an aesthetic perspective, you'll find that this will mesh very nicely with techwear stuff, as well as potentially being super handy. You could even get a couple of these, for example, put them on different things, and then you have the option of the best place to attach your keys to at any one time. Personally, I think attaching it to a bag strap looks super cool, but of course there's pretty much anything you can do with this, and it comes with, well, you can choose rather, a bunch of different attachments depending on what you want to attach your keys to, or attach the little, I don't know what you call it, the little section with the magnet on too. That one does have quite a heavy duty appearance, but there's something a bit sleeker as well. This one from Archetype Design, basically the same kind of functionality. It's not Fidlock, um, they have their own proprietary system for this. Uh, it's called like a rifle buckle or something like that, but it basically functions in exactly the same way. You've got a little magnetic clip that you can undo and clip on at will. This might be a better option if you want to keep your keys off the clip a lot because the little attachment that stays attached to the key ring is smaller and it's not going to get in the way as much. And it's also $3 cheaper than the dispatch one, so you want to save that money. Boom. So I think those options are really cool ideas for carrying your keys in a smarter way. But there's something else I want to talk about as well, which is the blade key. This is like a little key organization system effectively. So if you've got a couple of different keys, you don't want them rattling around or whatever, keep them all together in one place, you can do that with this. It's like a little key like a little key wallet, I suppose, and you can attach that to a key ring instead, and then you can just flick out the key that you want to use. Keeps everything nice and neat together. I think it looks pretty futuristic as well, so definitely get some points for that one. Although you are relying on the integrity of this structure to keep all your keys safe, as opposed to just a ring by itself, so there's an extra point of failure. Um, but so long as you're keeping an eye on that, you're not like letting the screw get too loose or something, because I presume it is kind of like screwed into place. It does look pretty sturdy based on the pictures, but I don't actually have one in hand, so I can't quite verify that. But anyway, I thought this was kind of an interesting option, and you could even use this alongside one of the magnetic things too. Um, and then you've got the dual functionality of both a very sleek looking key ring and something that can be attached and detached very easily to other devices. Aside from key rings and key storage devices like that blade key thing, there are of course a thousand and one different things you can buy that attach to key rings that are designed to provide some kind of functionality or gadgety thing or whatever. Personally, I'm not really of the type that is going to add as much stuff as possible to a keyring to try and get loads of functionality. I'd rather reduce everything and keep everything looking slim and sleek and just easy to use, um, which is partly why I thought that blade key looked super cool. Really, the lighter you can go, the better, I think, because of the sheer amount of time that you'll spend carrying this stuff around. But nonetheless, there's one particular gadget or functional thing which I think will be super useful and that is not a blade key but a key blade or a key knife rather. So called because as you might have guessed it looks like a key but it folds out and there's a teeny tiny little knife there. Not that I think people should be carrying weapons around but because having a little sharp thing genuinely does seem to come in useful quite a lot whether that's opening boxes or like cutting something that's too long whatever really. And since by design these things are key shaped they're not really going to add too much bulk to a keyring, unlike a lot of gadgets like torches or multi-tools or whatever. They're also not going to be anything near as dangerous as carrying an actual knife around. I know that's something that's quite popular among the everyday carry community, but this seems like a nice middle ground between having the functionality of a little knife, something that is sharp, and being that dude that carries a knife around everywhere. There are loads of different ones around, so I'll find one on Amazon or something and link it. Just be aware if you do get something like this and carry it around with you, um, any applicable laws in your country or region or whatever. I think the UK is possibly stricter than most. For us, I believe it's um, anything that's under three inches and has a non-locking blade is okay to carry, but anything else isn't. Um, but I know like in the US, for example, you seem to be able to walk around with a katana in some places and it's not really an issue. But basically what I'm trying to say is I'm not responsible for getting you in trouble if you do something stupid. Anyway, those were some of my ideas for key-based functionality, stuff which is going to look pretty cool, but also be genuinely functional and useful, perhaps more so than this frog clip 
and the £165 off-white variant. But I know carry goods like this are a very personal thing and there's loads of different options out there and um, there's a very strong community as well. So if you've got any particular things that you'd recommend, things that you've had experiences with or just generally things like this that you think are super cool, then let me know in the comments. Definitely suggest more things. This is an area that I would like to explore more and get more into. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. It is super appreciated. And that's everything. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. I feel like this clicking noise is gonna come out super loud on camera.